Oof. That's crappy. That's part of my morning. She runs right up. Oh, she's gone. Come here. Oh, you tripped. Every time she runs right up, hops on the four wheeler, gets the morning pets. them gross things. Oh my gosh. I thought flies handed garlic. Okay. Well, I had the garlic mineral sitting here to dump in the feed wagon and the fly land. I just kicked the living crap out of a giant rat. Oh? It was so gross. Did, was it injured before you started? It acted like it was a little stunned by oh. something but it still ran a little. Back when we used to shell corn, guys would tie their pant legs shut because they didn't want them crawling up their pants. Oh, that's gross. No, it's a true Get out of here. Ooh. All right, you can see the manure spreader is hooked up. We're getting ready to move a little manure. We're gonna probably be doing that the next day and a half, maybe two days. We got a nice mountain here and Right here, I don't know if you can tell, but that's really manure type stuff that's uh, not gonna make a good mound. And so we're gonna pick that up. The rest of it, you can see, it's kind of solid. So if it can hold cattle, that'll help keep them up out of the mud when it get, when we get a heavy rain in here. And then after we get that done, that shouldn't take too long, we're gonna head to that north lot and there's a big pile of manure that we gotta haul out over there. It looks like we're both wearing our favorite Ariat shirts today. Yeah, this is my favorite. It's got the snake through the eye hole. Brian's bad to the bones. Oh, you got some, you got some hay or something on you. And we also got something exciting coming up on the yard today in about an hour or two. Got two things happening. Poets coming out. To do what? Well, I'm not sure. Okay. But, uh... Well, don't, don't ruin the surprise. Okay. Okay. And then, uh... Oh, so don't say nothing? No. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Poet's not coming up. Well, you already said it. Um, okay, so we're gonna... This is already loaded up. Dad loaded that last night. We hooked all that up because we are We didn't really quite want to do anything, but we were also getting bored. And I actually scraped up the calving barn like three weeks ago and put it in a pile. And so this is all cleaned out. We're one step closer to calving, which that's like five months, six months away. That's a ways away. So this is all cleaned up. It's in the spreader. We'll probably bring, we like to bring in the bedding that we're gonna use like months ahead of time when we know the bedding is dry because once winter hits and you know, it, it seems like you get a rain and then stuff freezes and it doesn't really dry out. So there's a reminder to sometime throw some dry bedding in there. What's the reminder? Well, me saying it is the reminder. Okay, so we're gonna take off. Dad's gonna drive ahead of me, open the gates, so I don't have to get out. So once again, we're spreading in that thing that we hay over there where the Lewis cattle oiler is from Wagner Oiler Sales and Service. They're, uh, they're still getting used to it. They definitely haven't really seen them walk up to it and just rub on it, so uh, they, they still have a lot of flies on them. We keep putting the Dakota Gold Pro pellets right underneath there and making them get close to it and get used to it. But they, they still got a ways to go before the whole herd is rubbing on it. Right now we can't really see that they have less fry, fly pressure, but we can also see that they're not really using it that much yet. So they just, I think they just got to warm up to it. We're, I'm still really hopeful in this. What's up? Looks like they're working it some, a little bit, because it's dirty. Yep, yeah. They've been in there some. Hmm. Flies, father. The flies are over here, huh? Yeah, they must like the smell of the oil. <laughs> They like the smell of it. Kind of hoping our doings show up so I don't have to haul manure anymore. Yeah. It feels like a Monday. It's a Tuesday. I don't like to see this. We just got a load of gravel in here, and I spread it out, and it looks like my my uh, manure spreader kind of put a big rut in there. 
So I don't like that. Hi. Up, up, up. When it's brown like that, you know it's got some stank to it. I bet that hurt coming out. You want the poo stick? I bet that one really hurt coming out. Oh. All right, we're gonna spread this quick, shut the gate, because we think our people are showing up here quick. We don't, we don't want them waiting on us, and we don't want the cattle getting out. Gonna need a bath at the end of the day, that's for sure. Big dad unhooked the feed wagon. That doesn't happen very often. Dad kind of amazes me with the things he notices. Looking down here, this pin is starting to come out. We're gonna try to tap it in a bit and see if there's a place for like a, what, what would it call, be called? Another pin to hold in the pin. Ain't no good way to get at it. It's not turned good. If well, you, get a, you have a plier on your holster. Oh, that's why you keep a plier in the holster. Okay. Hey, a little bit more. All right. But that would just make too much sense now, wouldn't it, Brian? That's why I wear a plier every day. There comes our stuff. Yeah. Brought us a nice sack of Dakota Gold, but it's in that smaller, smaller size for a creep. But what, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do with these in this big bag? Are we gonna like use a bucket and dump them, pull it out, or? We have a plan. What's the plan? Oh, you wanna know it now? I don't Cause know. earlier this morning when I was gonna <laughs> announce it, you were like, oh, don't ruin the spread. We'll just wait. Okay. And so, for you, it'll only be like 30 seconds. Yeah. For us, it's about 45 minutes. Even though we both already know what's going on. <laughs> but, are we still gonna, are we gonna keep cleaning or what? Yep. So we pulled into the steer lot. Dad's gonna be scraping, and I'm gonna clean off this big pad. And if you never knew why this big pad is here, there used to be a barn on it. We had a tornado run through here about five years ago now, I think it was. And so we that's why all of our buildings are new. And one of my first videos on the channel is actually pictures and videos of um, what it looked like after the storm and so I'll, I'll link that right here if you want to see that That wet stuff now that's stanky. What the heck? I got wiggled in there to dump it and then he just pulls away while I'm dumping. <laughs> We could have fit so much more in that back end. That wet poo is real slippery. Let's see how fast I can spin a 360. This kind of hurt. Chattered my teeth a little bit when I ran into some concrete. So my brother and his wife, they're about to have a kid. This is going to be you guys with poopy diapers. I don't envy that. Hey, I'm driving here. But yeah, down there you can see a bunch of calves are huddled around the, the oiler. So maybe they're figuring it out. So I got another would you rather. Oh. So here's the would you rather. Would you rather switch over to all case equipment or and you know it'd be like kind of the same size as of our stuff 
or would you rather become a dairy farmer? Red isn't so bad. Yeah, them, them, dairy, them dairy farmers are crazy. Them guys work. Uh huh. I really? couldn't wake up that yeah, early. They're like the Walking Dead all the time. They're so tired. Message to that Dutch kid. We were talking, and he was telling me how he woke up at 4 a.m. and I was like, are, "Are you tired ever?" He said, "I'm always tired." Yeah. I couldn't do that. I need my sleep. I'm always tired too, but I'm 58. Oh. So, That'll get you. Yeah. Those dairy guys. They, they're a tough breed. So we got the rest of this pen cleaned up. We're gonna pull the machines out of here. I'm gonna leave the camera with dad. He might do some videoing. So it's the first time people ask for dad to do videoing. So we're gonna leave the camera with him. We'll see what happens. Where do you start the engine? Uh, so Scott's here from Apache Equipment Manufacturing out of Norfolk, Nebraska, and they've been kind enough to let us uh, try one of their creep feeders this summer. And uh, he just brought it up from Nebraska and uh, we're really excited to give it a try you know Apache is a very well known name for creep feeders around here and if you just kind of want to give me the quick overview of the features of it this is a new model right yep it's a, a 160 so it's a 160 bushel holds approximately three and a half ton uh, it comes with rain shields uh, lift assist springs on the panels oh. Uh, four corner stands, uh, ground opening lid, all new tires. Looks like a pretty sweet outfit and it looks like it's uh, fresh out of the paint booth. Yep, uh, just took her out of there this morning actually. Oh so wow. I yeah. have, uh, might actually have a little dust hanging on it because <laughs> of a, a sticky paint. So. If uh, there's feed in the pan, then you got the door open too. Yep, that's kind of what I was thinking too because then they're uh, there's a build up and they're not working at it so uh, the, the calf just has to be able to get the, get in the feed flow uh, with his tongue so if okay. he can lick the feed out that's okay. all the more you need yeah well what we're going to do the first few days is we're going to use bags so we know how much we're putting in there yeah and then uh, after that we got some bulk this morning and then we're going to dump that whole thing in there so okay so anyway i just want to thank uh, apache manufacturing for allowing us to try their product um, you know, with my purebred herd, we don't use creep feeders because we we uh, uh, just don't want that extra flesh. But on this situation, we've got young calves, crossbred calves on grass, and we are uh, trying to, instead of giving them corn, you know, that's a little hard to regulate uh, free flow. So this is this is a product that that we can control a little better, and we don't have to worry about too much intake yeah, that way. Yeah. So. Yep. All right. Well, thank you, Scott. You bet. Thank you. While Dad's getting that set up, I got to make a really important call quick. Yeah, we're going to do uh, two cheeseburgers with steak fries. And we'll be, we'll be there in like 15 to 20 minutes. You got poo on yourself? Yeah. I'm glad it ain't me. It's usually you. It's usually me. I suppose that's because I was moving the bunk and the tub myself while you were holding the camera and talking, and that's why I got dirty. I was ordering lunch, and you're welcome. Starting to figure it out. Oh yeah, there's they're, one up there now. They're kind of like, ooh, what's that? They're heading, they're heading in there. Come on, do it, do it, do it. They're on the other side. Do it, do it. Starsky and Hutch. Starsky do it. and Hutch. Do it. No. Hutch. No, Starsky did that. Yeah. Huh. Do how it. Do, how do you know that? I watch American cinema. What the word says is, what have you been doing? I guess back to the manure hall and we go. I, I kind of just wish that mound was up on top of the other mound. Then it'd be problem solved and we just have a bigger mound.
Starting to look pretty fancy around here. Supposed to be in that hole, all right? Darn thing. So we spent the last two, maybe three hours in this pen. That pile's still there. What have we been doing this whole time? And that's why I don't like hauling manure. Oh, you think you're swift, huh? Yeah, get back in there. Yeah. Ain't nothing getting past me. I don't want to spread poo no more. Well, we're done for now, so that's good. Okay, I go home now. Okay. I thought it went pretty good. Yeah, no one got stuck. Nothing broke, I don't think. We got stuff cleaned up real good. Okay, I go home now. Oh yeah, here we go. Stuff good? Okay. Oh man, kinda sore. It's about 7.30, almost 8. And we got some stuff done. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.